call is from a federal prison. Here in Colorado, the drug war started in the 1916 or 1917. This state was run by the Ku Klux Klan. And they, they realized that the, uh, the, the, the black people and the native Mexican people who were coming here and working for a much lesser uh, amount of money than white people were smoking marijuana and, and, uh, uh, and cannabis. So uh, what, the, what the Ku Klux Klan did was, was uh, make marijuana illegal so that they can felonize blacks and Mexicans. They actually came here, came out and said, we don't want any big lip niggers or brown skinned Mexicans owning anything in Colorado. So it was an easy way for them to felonize them and to take them out of the system. Why in the world do we have millions of innocent young people wasting away in prison when the big people who are committing these huge, atrocious crimes are getting away every day. We're, what, what's happening here in America is that our government inadvertently supplying the hard drugs to the people in this country, then they're putting the people who use them in this country in jail. I think the prevailing view on Wall Street is anyone stupid enough to buy drugs deserves to die. Uh, and if you can make money from them while they're doing it, that's great. And if that's imposing a crime wave on a community away from Wall Street, that's okay. There's no drug crime on Wall Street. I don't like cash. Uh, they're, they're, they pay cash, right? They pay cash. This is crack cocaine. Drug prohibition for cocaine was basically passed in order to protect white women from black males. And, and the, the history will document this. Cocaine, cocaine, cocaine. You go to court, you're basically facing an all-white jury, an all-white judge, a white prosecutor, white uh, a court reporter. So it, it's kind of like a white world. VA agents, they're all white. I mean, in my whole case, I don't think that I've had uh, uh, one black person other than the, uh, the probation officer in my whole case. I think that the drug war is the last white hope when you break it all down and you look at it from the ground. From a federal prison. Here's the way a private prison works, okay? You pay somebody to build a fancy cave. Then you fill it up as far as you can get it, which is pretty full. Full of people that the people that built the cage get paid forty or fifty thousand dollars a year to just keep in the cage. The ruling class here in America had to come up with something so that they could control certain segments of society so that they could stay in power. So they created the drug war for the felonization of Americans. I am a former Los Angeles police narcotics detective, and I work South Central Los Angeles, and I will tell you, Director Deutsch, and the agency has dealt drugs throughout this country for a long time. You know, corporations like Wackenhut, you know, they just changed their name, Corrections Corporation of America, that house prisoners, nonviolent drug offenders. As a matter of fact, I think 60% of the increase in prison population under Bill Clinton, which was like a million people, 60% of, of that new prison population are nonviolent drug offenders. Now, if you've got 5,000 people in your cage and you're being, you're being paid 30, 40,000 bucks a year for them, that's a lot of money. And if you can, on top of that, use them as your private property, as chattel property, that you can then make do work or make produce things that you get paid for on top of that. What a great deal. Now, where I come from, when you transform a person into a piece of property, that's called slavery. Yeah, I sat in jail for five months before my lawyer English came to see me. He told me, he said, only thing you can do for me, uh, give me uh, 25 to 99. They trade their stock on Wall Street based upon the number of people 
that are in jail. If that isn't sick, if that isn't the best definition of sickness in a society, in a culture, in a civilization, I can't tell you what is. Yeah, I know I was saying that because I was black, you no know, black guy. The Spanish and the black, we we in big, big trouble.